The September 8th Andre Ward Chad Dawson fight is the epitome of what boxing fans want. Ward is considered the best 168 pounder in the world, and Dawson is thought of as the best at 175. Now, both men are still in their primes, and the fight was made without the now normal public wrangling and name calling. It feels like we're back in the 1980s when this kind of thing happened routinely. They'll fight at 168 pounds for Ward's WBC and WBA titles. For Dawson, coming down in weight is not a big problem. He started his career at that weight, and his frame allows for this weight for him. The 30-year-old Dawson sports a 31-1 record, and he comes into this match off an April majority decision win over the ageless Bernard Hopkins. He's reeled off a series of wins since his only career loss to Jean Pascal. The 28-year-old Ward, an Olympic gold medalist, has had an eight-month layoff partially due to a hand injury he sustained while beating Carl Frotch in December of 2011. Now that win gave Ward the Showtime Super 6 championship. To get it, he had to run the gauntlet of 168 pounders, including Mikkel Kessler, Arthur Abraham, Alan Green, and finally Frotch. Both Ward and Dawson are superb technicians in the ring, which makes the keys to victory even more fascinating. For Dawson, winning the battle of the jabs is essential. He works everything off the jab, but so does Andre Ward, so he'll have to try to nullify that weapon for Ward. And he's a much better fighter when he throws combinations, and you have to do that against Ward. Fighting against him and using single punches just don't work. Now, don't allow Ward on the inside. If Andre gets in there, he will bully Dawson, and he has a very good inside game. Now for Ward, the right hand is a key against the lefty Dawson. Uh, Dawson's been put down by right hands. Adamek put him down. It's a punch that Ward needs to work. And he's got to work outside and then inside. And what I mean by that is do his work on the outside, uh, uh, show the combinations, but then when he gets in, he can, as I said, bully Dawson on the inside. Andre Ward is one of those rare fighters who can fight in a multitude of ways and win a fight. And he's got to take Dawson deep. Take him into the later rounds. Chad Dawson has showed fatigue issues later in matches. Because these two fighters are skilled boxer punchers, some think it will be simply a connoisseur's fight without a lot of action. I disagree. I think skill will be evident, but I think both men will fight with an urgency that will produce some real fireworks. The last quarter of the year looks like a winner for boxing, and this match is one of the reasons we say that. Now we'll have complete weigh-in and post-fight coverage on the Boxing Channel, so join us for all that great coverage. Mm -hmm.